Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a Gantt chart for free using Power BI. Gantt charts are great for visualizing timelines, especially for project management tasks, and I'm going to walk you through the entire process step by step. Let's dive right in. I have a Power BI report open in front of me. I have three tabs here. On the first tab, I have building constructions data. So we have a task name, start date, and duration. So this is a very simple table. If I move to project schedule, I can now see I have a table which have task name, start date, duration, and complete percentage, and also the type of the task. And if I go to milestones and common bar, I can see task name, start date, sum of duration, and completion percentage. And also I have a parent, which means that some tasks will be dependent on the other task. So there is a parent task and a child task hierarchy, and then the type of task, but I also have some milestones at various different stages. So I will create a Gantt chart to accommodate all these three different tables. So let's start from the basic one first. From the right hand side, if I look under the visualization, I cannot see the Gantt chart visual here. So to get that, I will click on these three dots and click on get more visuals. Here I can see a lot of visual provided by either Microsoft or third party companies. I will go and search for Gantt and then I can see there is a Gantt chart option available from Microsoft. There are many other options which are paid one, but I will use this free version from Microsoft. I will click on that. I can now see the app page, which tells you briefly what the Gantt chart will look like here. And I can just click on the add button here to add this visual into our Power BI report. So I will click on add. So I can see the message saying that the visual was successfully imported into this report. I will click on OK. And now if I see on the right hand side, I have this Gantt chart available. So I will click that. This will add this Gantt chart into this report area. I will make it a little bit bigger. For the building construction, we will focus on just the building construction table. So we have three columns here, task name, start date, and duration. We will map the task name to this task column. So now we can see all the tasks are listed here. And then if I drag this start date and map it to the start date column, now you can see that the task and the start date for each of the tasks in the Gantt chart view. Next, I can select the duration and then drag it under the duration column. This will tell me the duration of each task. So we can see the task title here. We can see the date timeline there. And then we can see that this task is 18 days long and it is starting from the 1st of June and ending on the 19th of June. So this is a very simple way to produce a Gantt chart based on just the task name, start date and duration. Now let's look at the other example, which is project schedule. It has few more columns in there. So I will go to the right hand side and I will click on the Gantt visual again to add it to my page. I will make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So now if I just close this one and open the project schedule, we can see we have task name, start date, duration, completed percentage and type. We have all these columns available there. So I will drag the task name into the task column and then I will drag the start date into the start date column and then the duration into the duration column. At this point, it is looking very similar to the previous can chart we created for building construction tab. Now, next we need to add few more things here. So first we need to add complete percentage. So how much a task is already completed. So for example, if the task is 10 days long and we have completed, let's say 10%, which means one day is completed on that task. So I will select that and drag it under the completion percentage field here. And now we can straight away see the lot of these tasks, either they are completed or they have like 10% completed. This is like 100% completed. So we can see the duration and we can also see what's the status of each task. 
one more thing we can do here is we can add a task type into a legend. So if I select the type and drop it under the legend, now you can see there are different type of tasks belong to different categories like analysis, design, development, and implementation. And then you can see for each of these tasks has the same color scheme of the type. So you will know the task, how long the task is, what is the type of the task, and how much is completed, how much is remaining, when is due to start, and when is completing. So this is a little bit advanced version of the CAN chart than we have seen in the first report. Now let's go one step further and build a little bit more complicated GAN chart. So if I select milestones and common bar, so this have two more columns than the previous table. This has parent, which means we will have a hierarchy of the tasks. They are grouped by a parent category. And then at different stages, we have some milestones. So we'll have a list of milestones in this project as well. So for this, I will just make it a little bit smaller so we can add a GAN chart a little bit bigger here. All right, so let's add a GAN chart now. I will navigate to the right hand side and click on this GAN chart icon. This will add the GAN chart here. Now, if we look at the, the milestone data, we have the task name, which we will map to the task. Then we will have a start date, we'll map it to the start date. If you have an end date, you can also map that here. We can map the sum of duration here to the duration column and then sum of completion as well and then we can also map the type to the legend now this looks very similar to the previous tab where we have created project schedule can chart where we can see the task the type of the task the dates start date and duration and how much is completed now we have two more columns to add, which is parent and milestone. So parents is gonna create a hierarchy, whereas milestone is gonna just put some milestone into the Gantt chart for further information. So if I select parent, and then I will drop it under the parent field. Now you can see the painting and the roof is a parent for many other tasks. So I will close these one, and you can see that it has created a tree structure here. So when you have a task, which have a parent task, it will automatically create this tree structure for you. Now I need to add the milestone. So if I select the milestone, and then if I add it into the milestone field here, look, as soon as I added that, it has created some milestones into the GAN chart. And we can see visually on the chart, the milestone which have passed or the milestone which are coming in the future. So if I click on this painting tree, you can see there are two milestones here. And then if I click on roof, there are two milestones here and one here. So we have created few milestones for each of this project stage, but you can see that they are nicely appearing inside the CAN chart. If you don't need this table, you can just get rid of this table and then you can make this chart more bigger so it fit on the page nicely. Thanks for sticking with me through this video. Now you should have a solid understanding of how to create a GAN chart for free using Power BI. I hope this helps you manage your project more efficiently and visualize your timeline like a pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more Power BI tips, tutorial, and other tech insights. If you have any questions or ideas for future videos, drop them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video.